What's up everyone, John back here with another video and today we're going to be talking about this box right here that I just received in the mail. Obviously it didn't come with this beautiful PX4 Storm here. What it came with is my ammo. My ammo finally got delivered today and um, if you follow my channel or watch my last two videos in regards to this, um, I posted how I have been going through hell and back to get my ammo that I ordered um, probably going on two and a half months ago now and uh, nothing ever came. UPS said they delivered it, then, then they said they, uh, they lost it, then they said they opened the case on it, then they said the case got denied, um, and then I contacted Federal, uh, I, I don't know, dozens and dozens of times and um, they finally got back to me today and said, oh yeah, um, you know, your shipment's actually out for delivery today. And I'm kind of like, wait, what? I've been actually waiting to hear back from them for over a week and a half. And I, I emailed them numerous times asking them like, hey, what's going on with this order? Blah, 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 blah. And um, never got a response back until today. I said, hey, what's going on with this order? And sure enough, the guy emailed me back within a few hours and said, oh, that shipment is expected to be delivered today. So I'm like, wow, I'm really confused now. So sure enough, got home from work. This box was sitting on my porch. And I'm going to start right off, right off the bat. Let me show you the beautiful thing about this box. Notice how there is nothing on here, nothing on here, except for that noise. You would have no idea this is a box full of bullets, okay? And let me grab my old box, one sec. Okay, so you compare that to the first box they sent me, which was this box right here. And as you can tell, all around it, it says federal, 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 yada, yada, yada. So you clearly know what this is. You clearly know that this is a box full of ammo. So I think they finally got smart and they put a box or they made the bullets shipped in a box with absolutely no branding, no name, no nothing on here, um, which is kind of what I was hoping they did the first time. Um, you know, granted, my first shipment came in no issues whatsoever, but this time around I kept thinking, wow, if only they would have shipped my crap with no branding, no name all over it, because somebody stole my, my ammo. That's ultimately what it comes down to. The last box that I ordered got stolen. UPS lied to me. They didn't want to, you know, tell me it was stolen. So it was just a nightmare. So two and a half months of, of, of nothing back and forth. Um, but yeah, here we are. Finally, this is one of the two boxes, um, the other box I have in my living room. But yeah, fully loaded. Got my, my nine millimeter. Got everything in here. So this is exactly what I... What I was hoping for, you know, got the punches, the 9mm uh, 124 grain, got about 8 boxes of those, got about 6 boxes of their uh, plus P rounds, which is this one right here, HST plus P, beautiful, awesome round. Um, so yeah, got all my bullets finally, thought I'd make a follow-up video because what's fair is fair. Um, you know, I, I gotta say through this whole ordeal, UPS was absolute trash, I will not go back on what I say. I don't care what people say. I don't care who you are. They were trash. This whole situation was annoying. Absolutely a nightmare. Um, they screwed me. One of their UPS employees stole my bullets, and that's what happened. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. But federal, they were a bit of a nightmare to deal with themselves. You know, they, they have no way of answering their phones. They only allow you through – they only talk to you through email, which is the most frustrating thing in the world – when you're trying to figure out like what happened to five, six hundred dollars worth of your stuff that you never got, but uh, you know UPS is saying I got it, but then they're t they're telling uh, Federal I got it, and then they're telling me it's lost, and, and you know I was I was the middleman through this whole ordeal, and I get it. Federal is extremely busy. This is one of the craziest times in the history of, of guns, and I'm not saying that they wanted to just make a whole new batch of bullets for me, you know, and give them to me because that's a loss on their end too. Regardless of if I got them or not, which I didn't, that's a loss on their end too because now they got to come up with another five hundred some dollar order to give to me that they already did give to me or shipped out to me, you know. So it sucks for our end big time. Um, but that being said, you know, aside from the fact that I had nobody to contact and nobody would really, you know, call me or nobody would call me, period, and I couldn't call anyone from federal. Outside of that. They did come through. They did send my shipment out. I do have it. So I had to give credit where credit's due. Like I said, it was an absolute nightmare. It, it, I, I don't know if I'm going to order from Federal again. Um, 
or if I do, I don't know if they have a different shipping method or, or shipping company. Um, but outside of that, I got to say, like I said, credit where credit's due. Federal did send me my ammo. I do have it all, and I give them props for it. But I thought I'd make a follow-up video because, like I said, it was something that I was very upset about the last video I posted and the video before that, which, God, I think was like a month, over a month now. Um, but I do have it. So Federal did come through. So if you guys are looking to buy ammo, um, just be you know, very patient and very careful. Um, it may get to you. It may not get to you. But I just wanted to give you my story on it. I do have it. It's here. We're good to go. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing, liking. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. I got more videos to come. I got some flashlight reviews coming up. Um, got some new gun reviews coming up, some AR-15s, all that good stuff. So appreciate each and every one of you. Have a great night. Be safe. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace. One last thing I did want to add to this video. So you know the whole the whole gist of the story and what happened and me not getting my ammo for two and a half months now um i do have it i am thankful for that obviously even though i paid for it shouldn't be thankful but, but i am but one thing i did want to say i was talking to one of my coworkers at work today about this when it got delivered and i got the alert and everything he asked me he said oh you know considering the the amount of crap you've been through and the headache you've been through um, do you think they're going to like do anything extra for you? And I kind of thought about it. I was like, that's a good point. I never thought about that. Um, and automatically I thought, started thinking like, yeah, they, they should, you know, considering that this has been this much of a nightmare and they are contracted with UPS. I didn't pick UPS, you know, it's not like I told my cousin to go pick them up and he lost them. And then I'm like, Oh, it's federal's fault. That's not what happened, obviously. So he, he mentioned that to me. So I, I am going to say I'm a little upset. Because they gave me everything I ordered, obviously, but they didn't give me any extra. And I don't know if that's me just being, you know, a little bit of a drama queen or a little too dramatic. I don't know. Um, I did spend a lot of money, obviously, and I've been through, you know, such an ordeal with this whole thing that I was kind of surprised. And after he said it, I, I, it didn't hit my mind. I didn't even think about it until he said it. And he asked me, like, oh, are they doing anything extra for you? Or are they, they you know, going to give you a little something, something to, you know, uh, keep you a happy customer? Because you're just, basically, all you're getting is the stuff you ordered two and a half months ago that should have been there to begin with right off the rip, you know? And, um, yeah, they didn't do anything extra. They gave me exactly what I ordered, nothing additional, um, nothing extra for the, for the inconvenience, you know? And I'm not one of those type of people because I work in the car industry. So, you know, I'm not one of those type of people that, like, you know, Oh, uh, since I waited 10 more minutes than what you quoted me on, what are you going to do for me? I'm not that type of person. I don't look for handouts. I don't ask for handouts. Um, but I did think, you know, maybe an extra box of nine or, you know, extra box of five, five, six or something just to kind of say like, Hey, we're sorry that this happened and we hope to continue doing business with you in the future. Um, but yeah, they didn't give me anything extra, nothing at all. So I thought I'd add that on this video. Um, not knocking federal, but I am kind of disappointed, I guess you could say, uh, cause I did kind of think they were going to do a little extra for me, but they didn't. So that's it. Just wanted to add that little, little part in there. So take care.